Welcome back everybody. This is the first project I'm doing on my new Harvey T60 lathe. That's a chuck template from Easy Wood Tools. There'll be a link in the description to where you can get one of them. Okay, so now we're just marking out where we're going to put the mortise and the foot. There we go. Okay, I'm going to use uh, a few different tools whilst uh, turning this around. The first one being the, the pro size hollower. Uh, we're just going to flatten off the bottom there and uh, turn it around. I'll, uh, I'll let you know what other tools I'm using as we uh, as we go around. So like I said, the first one is the, the pro size number one hollower. All uh, by Easy Wood Tools. A, uh, a nice piece of uh, monkey puzzle this is I got from Andrew over at AGK it will make a nice little cameo a bit later on in the video that is a, a full size rougher with a radius but now that's the, the mid size number one hollower Okay, so now we're going to get to making the mortise on the bottom of the bowl. There we go, so we're just using the, the mid-size uh, detailer just to uh, take mark where we're doing and that's the, the number one hollower, the mid-size. Once again, the that's the full size uh, rougher. Just clearing it all out. And that is the the mid size um, rougher. I'm just flattening off the bottom so it sits on the edges, and that's the the detailer. Just uh, matches the the dovetail of the jaws. And now we're going to get to do uh, to some sanding. So I started off at 120 grit, um, but to, to save you uh, watching all of the sanding, I'm just letting you watch the, the 240 grit. So now what I'm putting on now is some, what we call in the U uh, UK is uh, methylated spirits or if it's uh, USA it's probably known as uh, denatured alcohol. That's just to clean out all of the grain. Ready for the next step. And the next step is cellulose sand and sealer which is uh, my preferences aerosol from chestnut products. So we're just going to get some of that put on and uh, we put that on to stop all of the mineral oil on that from the uh, from the next step which will be Yorkshire grit uh, all the mineral oil from that soaking into the wood and it helps the Yorkshire grit to work properly so there we go we've got Yorkshire grit um, abrasive paste from easy wood tools um, you can get that from northsidecustomcrafts.com Okay, so you, you just buff it in until you get a, uh, so it's all buffed in and you get a top of a clean paper towel. 
I have a uh, dedicated video on that if you'd like to check that out. I'll put a, uh, a link up into the cards for you. And we're just going to finish it off after with this is with some uh, mug crystalline wax from Chestnut Products as well. So just wipe it all over, make sure it's got the full surface covered and then buff it in at, a, at quite a high speed, round about 1000 to 1200 and just make sure it's all buffed in nicely. And there's a cameo from Andrew AGK Woodworks. Go and give him a subscribe. Tell him JP sent you. Now we're going to get to some hollowing. So I've got the towel stock up for support for the time being, but we're going to be hollowing with the Pro Number One Hollower again. So we're just going to sit back and uh, let the music play for a little while while we uh, while we get that done. So that's the mid-size number one hollow we're using there now for the time being. A lot of sore in that did it really didn't want to come off to start off with. Alright. Back to turning and we're going back with the the, uh, the pro number one hollower again. Just to clear it all up. So now we're going to get to uh, get to sand in the inside. So once again, I started with 120 grit, but as of once again, I'm just going to show you the the 240 grit sanding just to save some time and just so you haven't got to watch a video all about sanding.
There you go. Once again, clean out the uh, pores and all the uh, sawdust with some methylated spirits or denatured alcohol. Some cellulose sanding sealer. And of course, some Yorkshire grit. Clean off that excess and just uh, we've got a clean paper towel and you see all you see a nice shine on it there. And we're just obviously going to finish it off with some uh, Mark Bristling wax. There you go, just going to buff that in. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the first project I did on my new lathe. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe and uh, you'll get to see some uh, more in the future. So there'll be some uh, beauty shots of this bowl a couple of seconds. So until the next one, I shall see you soon. Bye bye for now.